She has been the goalkeeper of the year in the Big East for three consecutive years. But that pass is contested. Wide open, one-on-one, -on -one, buried by O'Brien. Defense to offense for the Hoyas. Bearcats just toying with the Pirates. Over to Ottensmeyer now, trying to get to the left hand. Wow! Bounced it, bottom of the crossbar, and right over the shoulder of Bihar. Sharon, quick feed, Carter, hat trick. Morgan Carter, her third of the first half. Seven to go. Bestiny through the legs. It's a one goal game. Inside give and a bouncer. That goes for Kip. No one more for doing her work on the outside, but Sloan Kip, one of the captains, gets the Pios on the board. Here's Davis, the lefty, swings it around. Schaefer fumbles it, gets it back, double teamed, good spin. Schaefer inside and buries it. Lost it, got it back, the spin cycle and the finish. Good catch, Joya over the shoulder. Here she is, has a little bit of space, one on one, and Macris makes the save. Still some time, Steer the give off. Extra pass, diving save by White at the buzzer. Goodness gracious. The 2024 Big East Women's Lacrosse Championship presented by Jeep is brought to you by Invesco QQQ, the official ETF of the Big East Conference. Welcome to Cincinnati, Ohio. A beautiful day in the Queen City to get the Big East Women's Lacrosse Tournament started. The Denver Pioneers, they're already partying. They hope to party all weekend, taking on Villanova in game one of the semifinals. Four teams make the Big East Tournament, and here are the four. Denver and Villanova in the first matchup here at one o'clock. UConn taking on Georgetown in the second semifinal coming up later today at four. Welcome to Corcoran Field. So glad you're with us today. Anthony Mazzini here with Mike Schmaltz. So glad you're with us. So Denver is the odds-on favorite to win the tournament, Mike. They earned that distinction having won each of the last three Big East tournaments. So what does a very young Villanova team have to do to pull off the upset? UConn and Georgetown matching up today for a chance at the Big East Championship on Saturday. Whichever team wins, the Hoyas or the Huskies, whichever team wins will play Denver in the Big East Championship on Saturday, Pioneers took down Villanova 19 to seven, and now one of these two teams will try to play over the weekend as well. Welcome to Corcoran Field. Glad you're with us today. Anthony Mazzini here with Mike Schmaltz. So these two teams obviously met in the regular season finale, so it's an easy scouting report, right? But one of the biggest changes is for Georgetown. No Gracie Driggs, a 38 goal scorer. Villanova down five to one, Mike, but this is a team in the Big East on the rise. They've qualified for consecutive Big East tournaments now, the first time since joining the Big East and they did it by clinching a win against Marquette in the regular season finale. They've never won a Big East postseason game, and they're down 5-1 today, but this is a team very young. Third-year head coach Jill Batchelor. This is her first recruiting class. She knew it would be an immediate impact with these freshmen. It's paying off in year one, but keep an eye on the Wildcats going forward as they try to mount their comeback today. She called that 17-14 victory over Marquette this past Saturday a core memory for this group. They were down by three goals twice in that game, never gave up. That's been the personality of this team. They've been willing to grow. They've been willing to show up and grind through some of these learning experiences that get used to the college game. Which now being down five to one, if you're Villanova, of course, you don't like the start, but at least gives you confidence that, hey, we can come back when we're down multiple goals, right? Well, we asked Coach Batchelor what she would talk to her team about before they started this game, and she said belief. You have to believe that you're able to accomplish a knockoff of this Denver team. Just coming off a victory over Yale. That was their last game, number eight in the country. So four and three against ranked opposition this season is the Denver Pioneer. So you don't want to look at it that way. Coach Batchelor said, you look at these teams and you look at the rankings and who they've beaten, and sometimes that can be intimidating, but this Villanova team has a different mindset today. Denver has scored the last four goals. Black the give inside early. The turnaround shot is high. Early scored right before we went to break. What a story she is. A transfer from Middlebury College, a Division Three program. Won a few national championships. Inside give again, looking that time for Penoyer, and she gets bumped. Change her role here for early at Middlebury. She was more of a high shooter, now charging the cage board. We've seen it a couple times today. 
he adapted well. That change of philosophy in what she's being asked to do. Pinoyer on the free position line again. Villanova, for the most part, has closed out well, and they forced the pass outside, but right back in. And there is Gilbert, her first tally today. A nice set there for Denver. Saw him collapse the zone on the right side, then firing it up top in a wide open opportunity right in front of the cage and Fisher. They're really good at close range, but those are tough to beat. No interference whatsoever on that strike. What's standing out, Mike, right now is how open the Pioneers are. They've really found that soft spot right in the middle of the Villanova zone in front of Fisher. We saw the first charge in on the far side. Villanova went after it. That opened up the pass to the top. And, of course, you find the soft seam right behind the defenders that moved out to the wing. So the 49th of the year for the attacker of the year, Julia Gilbert, midseason All-America honorable mention. Preseason Tawaraton nominee, one of five on the preseason watch list and overall Tawaraton watch list over the course of the season for the Pioneers. Good to get Gilbert kind of settled into this game in the scoring column. Just two shots, though, for Gilbert so far. A Villanova needs to find something on the draw because Jenkins is just eating them up right now. Yeah, that's now 7-1. to one. Any coach will say possession, whether it be draws, cause turnovers, ground balls. For the most part, Villanova's been good at the draw this year, but Jenkins is just at a whole new level right now, squaring off with Emma Verhost. Illinois' defense known for playing together, playing as a unit. See if they can rebound here. Get a couple of stops here against this Denver team. It's really moving the ball with efficiency. Benoyer directing traffic at X. Side arms it out to Black. Looking for that rip. Not there. Good closeout. Right back in. And Fisher forces it wide. Wilson streaking in. Quick restart here. Black ripping. And Fisher with the save. That one relatively easy for Fisher, especially compared to some of the looks that the Pioneers have had today. Yeah, right to Fisher's chest. So a lot of power on that shot, but not a lot of deception. It was straight ahead. Denver's defense again really forcing up. This ride is lethal as well. Really at Walls over the middle. Moore, long outlet, Hickey. And now Karetcher can set up shop. But the Pioneers continue to pressure out, looking for that turnover. That's a flexible zone here for the Denver Pioneers. And a keeper that had struggled against man, so they came up with a sunken zone. Liza Kelly, a little impatient, didn't like that, so they came up with what they call the hot pink zone. They can flex it, they will play straight up on the wings, or they will double. Low shot and a save from Bohai. But a ground ball picked up by Paselli. The outside, Moore looking for a little bit of space. Not there. McPherson shuts her down. Rip and another save. Bohai denying Moore again. Loose ball again picked up. Bohai, her third in a row. Oh, high great concentration there. A little melee around the circle. Able to get that stick out. Eventually control it. Better possession there by Villanova, however. Got a couple of shots away and changed direction with their stick angles. Amelia Bohai, seventh in the nation in goals against average. A couple of big saves there. That's a hard collision in the corner. It's going to stay with Denver. Matty Stoddard over there. Coming up with a contact for the Wildcats. A good offensive trip for Villanova. Just couldn't capitalize on it. Under a minute to play in the first. And Denver a chance to tack on another one before the first quarter break. Collimore. Deneen gives it up. Penoyer up top. Collimore again. Black 
the lefty, little high. Good job by Black, rolling off that stick pressure. Sometimes he can gain that momentum. Red that Carly Harrington had her on the hip. But right inside early again. You talked about it, Mike. She has established that inside threat. And Jane Early, her second today. Another quick strike here for the Denver Pioneers. It's been some good movement inside. They've been sending cutters across the crease, opening up some of these angles. That was just more of a direct charge to a gap there for early. Good vision from behind again from X for Panoyer. Early comes from a lacrosse family. Her dad played lacrosse at Bowdoin College. Of course, Early started her college career at the lower Division three level, jumping up to the D1 ranks this year with Denver. A team coming off its first ever Final Four appearance. Liza Kelly said that was a pinnacle moment for the program, but it left them wanting more. And they're showing it in the semifinal today against Villanova. 12 seconds to go, but it is turned over. Now Villanova just going to try to run out the clock. Denver's not going to let him. Scooped up by Deneen. Three seconds to go, and that is it. So Denver, what a first quarter. 7-1, to one, multiple different goal scorers. And they end it on a 6-0 scoring run.